recognize that we don't look at it as fear because we're just irritated, we're just annoyed, or we're just impatient, or whatever. But all that is a fear. And so uh, the Lord hasn't had uh, his way with my mouth. And so uh, it, it makes for uh, a constant battle of, okay, I'm sorry, I'll fix that. Okay, let me, let me rephrase that. Okay, I'll try that again. And so a little while later, because the root thing hasn't been taken care of, you're back to the old negative talk thing. And so you're being critical or you're being impatient or you say things that aren't uplifting and then everybody's defensive and then there's this little uh, struggle and then the other person gets into your negativity and then that's all. It's just a nasty cycle. But the problem is, is that come have your way among us. He cannot have his way among me, in me, if my mouth is running rampant, unchecked, unbridled, and I am just letting every negative thought that comes into my head come out my mouth. Okay, so when Holly and Jeremy lived with us and negativity came out of my mouth, they would say, um, mom. Oh. Yeah. Well, they're not in my house right now, and David's not saying, um, babe, because I probably would hit him. <laughs> no, I but I'm just saying, I'm, I've been just uh, letting negativity, I don't hit my mouth. Um, but, so, I need to apologize, and I need to put a bridle on my tongue so that God can use my words to create the right atmosphere. So, come up here. <laughs>
turning away. For building our own kingdom instead of yours. For, for putting idols and gods before you. We bow down to television sets and money, bank accounts, positions, jobs, instead of putting our face before you, God. We bow down to things that make us comfortable. We bow, we bow down to things that make us feel secure. We hold so tightly to those things. Pray that we would let them go today. Pray that we would let them go today. As a nation, let them go. As a nation, let them go. So everybody point to yourself. Everybody point to yourself. Say, I'm the church. I am the church. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. I am church. I am church. Amen. 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 The call out assembly as we gather is a different thing, but Christ, uh, Jesus said through Paul, don't you know? Don't you know that you are the temple right. yeah. of the Holy Spirit? Right. That you are the church. Everywhere we go, we are church. We don't do church. We are church. <laughs> I like that. We are church. Amen? Amen. So, there was a line in that song we just sang that, that God's been doing some revealing the last two, two weeks. It says, you revealed the Father's heart to right. us. Amen. Did you hear that? Yes. Did you, did you hear yourself singing that yes. line? Yes. You reveal the Father's heart to us. Have you ever seen a dad with a young son? Or this is true of mothers and daughters too. Have you ever seen a dad with a young son? And dad with, if he'll sit back and cross his legs, the little boy will do the same. Yeah. Imitate yeah. And, and you say, like father, like son. Yeah. So, I was thinking about this, I actually shared a little bit about this Friday morning, but I was thinking about it more in the last two days, and because uh, I'm preaching on Good, Good Father tomorrow morning, and, and the thing that really hit me was what Jesus said, finish these lines, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Yeah. Isn't that cool? If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Right. Now here's another one he says. Whatever the Father does, I do. Whatever the Father says, I say. I say. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. So I was reading through some Proverbs to go with some of the applications in my message. And this really caught my my attention. So think of this as rather than a problem, think about this as God Father speaking to us, alright? Because it, it even says it in here. This is cool. My son, and, and you guys can say my daughter. I mean, you can own that too. My son, accept my words, store up my commands inside you. Let your ears listen to wisdom. Apply your heart to understanding. Call out for ability to be wise. Cry out for understanding. Look for it like you would silver. Search for it like hidden treasure. Oh, come on. My son. My son, my son, my daughter. Look for it. Then you'll understand how to have respect for the Lord. And you will find out how to know God. What a powerful statement. Now that's our part. Now here's God's part. Are you ready for God's part? This is the heart of the Father. This is the heart of the Father. Everybody put your hand on your heart. Right here in the middle. This is the heart of the Father. Let's let him speak to us right now, okay? Here's the heart of the Father. This is what he does. The Lord, the Father gives wisdom. Here it is. 
Knowledge and understanding come from his mouth. Come from his mouth. That sounds like Jesus when he said, man doesn't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of the Father. Knowledge and understanding come from his mouth. He stores up success for his people. He's like a shield to those who live without light. He keeps them safe. He guards the path of those who are honest. He watches over the way of his faithful ones. Oh, thank you, Father. Everybody say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We love your heart. We love your heart. Here's some more. Every I, I highlighted every my son. My son, do not forget my teaching. Keep my commands in your heart. They'll help you live for many years. They'll bring you success. Don't let love or truth ever lead you. Tie them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. There it is. <laughs> Write them right here in your heart, the Father's heart. Then you'll find favor and a good name in the eyes of God and people. You'll recognize this next two verses. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and do not depend on your own understanding. In all your ways, remember him and he will make your paths smooth and straight. And I found this one as I'm going through, I'm, I'm going through Proverbs and, and grabbing all the scriptures that talk about our, our health and how our thoughts and our emotions and our speech affects our, our health. My goodness, over and over and over in Proverbs. Listen to this one. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Have respect for the Lord and avoid evil. And that will bring health to your body and make yeah. your bones strong. You want, you want to be healthy? <laughs> right here. Isn't that good? That's the Father's heart. Say, I want you to be healthy. Do this. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Have respect for me. Avoid evil. And you'll... You'll have health in your body. Here's another, my son. This is the last one. Not in here, but today. My son, do not hate the Lord's training. Instruction. Do not object when he corrects you. For the Lord trains those he loves. Here it is. Like a father who trains the son he's pleased with. Like a father who trains the son he's pleased with. He's pleased with you. He's training all of you because he's he's pleased with you. In the New Testament says, the Lord disciplines those he loves. He trains. Instructed. Every time we hear discipline, what do we think? Out. Pain. Pain. There's so much more to discipline. Training, learning, understanding. Correction. Yeah, there might be some pain, but there's so much more to it. So much more to it because, because the Lord is like a father who trains the son that he's pleased with. Blessed is the one who finds wisdom, that'd be us, the one who gains understanding for long life is in her hand. In her left hand are riches and honor, and all her ways are pleasant, and her paths lead to peace. Thank you, Father, that you're teaching us about your heart, and that your heart is all about giving us good health. Your heart is all about giving us instruction, and that we would gain wisdom, your truth, your big T truth, amen? Yes, His big T truth, that we gain your truth, and that you speak to us the wisdom, truth from your mouth, and we listen, and we will be excellent, excellent listeners, obeyers. but even better obeyers, right. amen? Right. Everybody right. say, I'm an excellent listener, I'm an excellent but, listener. A better obeyer. but I'm a I'm better, better obeyer. obeyer, amen, thank you, Lord, thank you, Father, we love you, Father, you're a good, good Father. Jesus name.
Jesus paid it all. God, we just come into agreement right now over Rena. Anybody else that's experiencing headache or any body pain right now? Okay, right there, David. Jeremy, will you come lay your hands on David, please? Yes. Thank you. Lord God, we come into agreement right now over yes. David yes. and over Rena and over uh, mm, So we just come into agreement right now. 
We speak to any symptoms of Bell's palsy on Rena to get off and go right now in the name of Jesus. You've already healed her from this. She's already been free from all the symptoms. And we just declare Bell's palsy. You have been defeated and cast into hell. And you don't have to be on Rena. So get off and go right now in the name of Jesus. And we call this migraine headache, the spirit of pain, the spirit of migraine to get off of her, get off David right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, go. All pain, any back pain, neck pain, shoulder. Huh? Tooth. Okay, so Jesus, right now. Right now. Right now. Christy and I took a load of that load of 
we have enough there to to meet the Lord in His temple. And, uh, and so let's just pray. Amen. Let's just pray over them right now. Because uh, this is an important part. They're coming into the part where Jesus wants to speak over them. Right, right. Amen. Speak into their lives. Identity and scripture and truth and new names. New new names. Amen? Amen. 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 So, Lord Jesus, we just thank you for this incredible uh, lesson that Lynn and Kathy have put together uh, and uh, for your church, to equip the church. Yes. Yes. And we pray especially for the group 12 and 13 that are there uh, at House of Prayer. And I, I just pray blessings over all of them. God, would you open up their hearts, prepare more room, as Christy said earlier. Prepare more room for you to come in yes. and uh, reveal yourself and to show yourself and to take over more of their life. Yes. And, and would you speak uh, your words to them tonight? And your names. And would they get new identity and new prophetic utterances over them, Lord, yes. for their lives. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We all agree. Amen. We all agree. Yes. Amen. I highly recommend that. I would do it. Yeah. Wherever we go. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, one, two, and it was, yeah, it was life changing. This was life changing. Uh, it helped me to be able to learn how to pray more Yeah. Right. You, Becca, and Garrett would be blessed by it. Yeah, yeah Scriven and, and uh, Lynn Berger. Yeah. So powerful. So you stood before creation. Eternity in your hand. You spoke the earth into motion. My soul now to stand. You stood before my failure, carried the cross for my shame. My sin weighed upon your shoulders, my soul.
prayer if I make my bed in Sheol.